This step-by-step -step guide explains how to do descriptive statistics using group data. So, go to the three horizontal lines to open the data. So, I go to open and I go to my computer and browse. And I've got the data here. It has to be a CSV file. So, open. And the data I have here is the data of uh, Winch's study in 1908 with um, uh, these uh, uh, children who were submitted to a training that was Group A, that was a training in memorizing uh, poems. And Group B that didn't do that training, it did a, um, uh, some mathematics arithmetic uh, during the same period. And we've got a pre-test results. So these pre-tests are results on, on memory for, for texts that was conducted before the, the training and the participants were um, assigned to the groups based on the performance in this task. Basically, group A and group B should have the same mean performance in the pretest. We are going to check that. And the final test is a the the test that was conducted after training and that was a, again memory for a history text. So we are going to see what's the the mean uh, performance for the group A and mean performance for group B. So let's uh, 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 and here I show you that there are 34 students. We go to 17, these are in group A, and then the 18 to 34, these are the group, the students in group B. Okay, so we go to descriptives, and we uh, use, we put here the variable that we are interested in. Let's say we are interested in pretest now. We can put the two together, pretest and final test, but let's start just putting pretest. And if we don't do anything, um, JASP already calculates something. So he calculates the mean of this variable pretest, the standard deviation, and the minimum value and the maximum value. And if we want more statistics, we go to statistics. And we can add the median, and it will add it there. So it's the median, the mode, the most the most uh, um, frequent value, so the value that occurs more most uh, more times, the sum, which is not very informative, and we can have other things. But we let's uh, let's leave it uh, like that. Um, and in plots, we can have a box plot. And but if we want to see the uh, the data, all the data points, so we got the jitter. We tick the jitter element, and it will show all the data. Now, instead of the box plot, we can you have a violin element. We tick there. The two together, box plot and violin, they don't. It's not correct to have both, so you have one or the other. But here we've got two. If we untick, then we have the violin only. And perhaps you, you want you want only to see the data, and then you untick the violin as well, and we've got the data in here. Um, then what we are going to do is to split these by group, because this is the data of the 34 students, the pretest in the 34 students. So we want to know how the two groups vary. So then we have here the box that says split, which we can use to split by group. So it will calculate all the all this all the statistics calculated here but for the participants in each group. So we put group there, and now we've got 
this is the um, pre-test performance um, for each of the groups. So remember that uh, Winch said that he did this pre-test to have group, the two groups should be the same in, in memory skills. So let's see if he managed to, go, to get that. Well, the mean is 88 in group A, 88.059 in group A, and 88.059 in group B. So exactly the same mean, exactly the same sum. Uh, so very precise. And well, that, that, that's typically all we, all we want. If the mean is the same in both groups, then that's uh, absolutely okay. And the median is a slight, slightly different, 94 in group A, 95 in group B. The mode is 97 in group A and 95 in group B. The mode is typically not a, a very important uh, statistic. The standard deviation is 13.13 .13 in group A and 13.47 in group B, uh, which is very, very similar standard deviation. And minimum and maximum again 53 to 98 and 54 to 98, so very similar values. So indeed, um, the pretest um, shows the pretest data shows that um, the groups were allocated, uh, so they are very similar in the performance uh, pre uh, prior to the test. So now let's see the var variable final test. So we can put the variable together with pretest or we can get rid of pretest and, and, and use only final test. So and of course you can you can you can press these and copy these in a uh, in a Word document or any other text document. And you can do the same with the figures. So you copy and paste uh, somewhere else. So let's go to final test then. And here we have uh, the data. We've got the pretest data, which is the same as before, and the final test data. So we can see. Um, let's check with the, the data provided by Winch in this art article. So we've got here. Um, sorry. So we got that the sum, because Winch didn't provide the mean for each group, but the sum is 1497 in both groups. And for the final text is 2055 for group A and 1890 for group B. So let's see if it's the same in, in JASP. And it is. The sum is 1497 in both group A and B in pre test, and 2055 and 1890 for group A and B, respectively, in final test. So, what uh, Winch didn't report is the mean, and the mean is 120.88 for group A and 111.17 for group B. The median is 128 in group A and 118 in group B. Mode is 135 versus 127. And the standard deviation is um, uh, smaller in group A, 15.06, and more dispersed values in group B, 20.22. Um, Minimum value Group A, 86, and maximum 135. And uh, Group B had a minimum of 74 and 137 maximum. So this is the, the descriptive statistics for group data. So in terms of plots, we can have um, these, two, these plots that show the data of, of two groups. Um, but this is pretest and then final test. So let's add a violin element in both. So 
if you see the distribution of the data, that's, it's, not, it's not very convincing that group A is better than group B. So, um, perhaps the conclusions that Winch um, proposed in his article are not um, supported by, by the data. We also can, we can have the um, um, distribution plots. So we've got for, for pre-test and uh, in, so this is pre-test group A, that's the distribution. So we, these are beams and this the, is the, the counts in, in each bin. So that means that one participant in group A uh, had a score between 50 and 60 pre-test, one participant between 60 and 70, two participants between 70 and 80, same from 80 to 90, and uh, 11 participants between 90 and 100. And we have a, this distribution in group B pre-test. So final, in final test, we got that group A uh, still has some participants in the lower uh, beams, but be careful because this axis goes from 80 to 140 and this one goes from 70. So you have to shift everything a bit to compare these two distributions.